<laughs> Here we go again. Look, this one's called A Quiet Night In. What's one of them? And it's by Jill Murphy. So, Quiet Night In. Oh, it looks like it's morning. Look at this. Okay, so, I want you all in bed early tonight, said Mrs. Large. It's Daddy's birthday. And we're going to have a quiet night in. Uh, can we be there too? Asked Laura. No, said Mrs. Large. It wouldn't be quiet with you lot all charging about like a herd of elephants. We are a herd of elephants. Said Lester. Smarty pants, said Mrs. Large. Come on now, coat's on. It's time for school. Look, they're all getting ready for school. Kisses. We haven't got school at the minute, have we? Never mind. That evening, Mrs. Large had the children bathed and in their pyjamas before they even had their tea. They were all very cross. Look at them. They're all really cross. Ah. It's only half past four, said Lester. It's not even dark yet. It soon will be, said Mrs. Large grimly. She's trying to get them all organised, isn't she? After tea, the children set about making place cards and decoration for the dinner table. Then they all tidied up. Then Mrs. Large tidied up. Looks like they're doing a nice job. Look, all of that. Lovely. Mr. Large arrived home looking very tired. Look at him. So tired. We're all going to bed, said Lester. So you can be quiet, said Laura. Without us, said Luke. Shh, said the baby. Happy birthday, said Mrs. Large. Come and see the table. Mr. Large sank heavily into the sofa. It's lovely, dear, <sighs> he said. But do you think we could have our dinner on trays in front of the TV? I'm feeling a bit tired look they're all giving him his cards can you see they're all setting things up oh of course said mrs large it's your birthday you can have whatever you want we'll help said luke the children ran to the kitchen and brought two trays i'll set them said mrs large we don't want everything ending up on the floor Oh, they do look as though they're being really helpful. Look. They all want to help. Isn't that nice? Oops, what's going on here? Can we have a story before we go to bed? Asked Luke. Please, said Lester. Go on, Dad, said Laura. Just one. Story, said the baby. Oh, all right, said Mr. Large. Just one, then. Lester chose a book and they all cuddled up on the sofa. Look, they've all cuddled up. But I think something's going on. Mr Large opened the book and began to read. One day, Binky Bus drove out of the big garage. Hello, he called to his friend, Mickey Milkfloat. I don't like that one, said Laura. It's a boy's story. Look, said Mr Large. If you're going to argue about it, you can all go straight to bed without your story. So they sat and listened while Mr. Large read to them. I think I would do. After a while, he stopped. Go on, Daddy, said Luke. What happened after he bumped into Danny Dustcart? Did they have a fight? asked Lester. Look said Laura. Daddy's asleep. Shh, said baby. Oh, Daddy's asleep. Mrs. Large laughed. <laughs> Poor Daddy, she said. Never mind, we'll let him snooze a bit longer while I take you all up to bed. Will you just finish the story, Mum? asked Lester. We don't know what happens in the end, said Luke. Please, said Laura. Story, said Baby. Look, Daddy's asleep. 
What do you think Mummy's going to do? So there's Mummy. Do you think she's reading the story? I think she looks sleepy. Anyway, move up then, said Mrs. Large. She picked up the book and began to read. Watch where you're going, you silly dustcart, said Binky. Just then, Pip the police car came driving by. After a while, Mrs. Large stopped reading. What's that strange noise? asked Lester. It's Mummy snoring, said Luke. Daddy snoring too. They must be very tired, said Laura kindly. Shh, said Baby. The children crept from the sofa and fetched a blanket. See? They covered Mr and Mrs Large and took them in. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? We'd better put ourselves to bed, said Lester. Come on. Shall we take the food up with us, asked Luke. It is on trays. It's a pity to waste it, said Laura. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Anyway, they wanted a quiet night in. Shh, said the baby. Look, they've got all the food on the trays. And look at Mr and Mrs Large. Mummy and Daddy are asleep. Oh, they're off. <laughs> Mind you, they're dropping everything, aren't they? Oh, it must be really. Oh, do you know what? That is just so nice. Mm, bedtime stories.